I'm a philanthrocapitalist. I'm a social entrepreneur that believes the best philanthropy is a job, not a handout. A job is about the dignity of work, and we all deserve dignity. People don't want aid, they want a life, they want respect, and they want an opportunity to show how good they are. What does it mean to be a philanthrocapitalist? Meet Francine Lafrac, and this is how she is changing how businesses and consumers give back. When I decided to work on the ground in Rwanda, so many people laughed at me and said, oh my God, you can't give up show business for this. Are you out of your mind? What are you doing? But I, something compelled me in the strongest way. I knew I had to shed light on these women and I knew I had to do it in a way that felt right to me. So I knew I had to come up with another kind of business model and I knew I had to impact these women in a new way. And really, so much of what I've learned about metrics and making a difference and putting your energy where it counts came from this. So people say to me, oh, you're such a nice person. You went and you helped these women in Rwanda. And I went, wait a minute, let's stop there. I get more out of it than anyone because what I've learned from them and their reconciliation, their ability to reconcile, their strength, their sense of pride, I take it with me every day and every day it makes me a better person and it makes me want to empower more people because I have become empowered by them. That marketplace was the beginning inspiration to what would grow into a global business to empower women through what she called Trade Not Aid. And in 2008, Same Sky was born. Well, as you know, I was a, an award-winning movie producer and I developed a film on the genocide in Rwanda when the movie Hotel Rwanda was produced. And I couldn't get my movie made, but I couldn't get the women who had suffered during the genocide out of my mind. And I thought, I've got to figure out a way to help them. And I don't want to be, uh, you know, another charity. I don't want, who knows if they would ever get the money if I was another charity. So I figured out this business model because I knew the best philanthropy was a job, not a handout. And that's how it started. It started with four women and now we've worked with over 200 women and they, their lives have completely transformed. What I did was created a marketplace for their jewelry because I wanted the world to know about them, but I wanted to give them an opportunity to deal with their health. So for instance, one bracelet would pay for their health care for one whole year. One necklace would pay for their child to go to school for one whole year. The whole idea was to pay them 15 to 20 times the average wage in sub-Saharan Africa because we wanted them to try to lift them out of poverty. And you can't do it by paying people a dollar a day, and that's what happens with NGOs. And in fact, if I wanted to have another, if I wanted to start another charity, I would never know if the women got paid. In other words, if I sent $10 to Rwanda, how many hands would touch it? How would I even know the women would get paid? But because I started a business, I could pay them each and I would know they got paid because that's what we have to look at in the world. We have to change the way we give aid and we give funding. We have to make it much more full of metrics and impact. We can't just send money. I mean, look at what's happened in Haiti with the billions of dollars. Look at the fact that people still live in tents. I wanted to know that I was making an impact with the money that I was sending. And to give you an example, just look at Clementine, who you met. Mm -hmm. Clementine recently um, gave birth to a non-HIV baby. She went to the doctor and the doctor said to her, Clementine, what are you doing? Your, your white blood cells were t terrible and now they're up to 1,200. And Clementine says, I'm working. 
I have the dignity of work. And now Clementine opened a bank account, and Clementine has respect in her community, and Clementine is not subjected to the kind of sexual violence that so many women are su subjected to because people respect her. One thing I always find interesting is what different obstacles need to be overcome when starting a business in different communities and countries. At the time, she didn't realize that this one setback with her film, what she thought was a defeat, would totally change her life and lead her to her next great passion. When you first started this, you know, obviously you were building your passions and what you're passionate about and concerned about into your business. Did you have any roadblocks that you hit and how did you get over them? You have to build a marketplace. And this is a story people are not used to, being more conscious as they consume, shopping with ethical ideas in mind. When it comes to people's pocketbooks, people lie. They say, of course I'll spend money to help someone, but at the end of the day, they won't. Do you think that there's something that we could be doing as consumers to help drive that conversation or help sway them in a certain way? Well, I think that social media is helping a lot. I really do, and I think in terms of what we could be doing, I think we have to become more conscious as we consume to really ask where are the products made, what is the transparency, who is making it, is it child labor, are the people being treated fairly? What kind of world do we want to live in? Are, are our values being represented? I think we've got to start asking those kinds of questions as we shop and as we consume. Work with our ex-offenders and work with our artisans and become an advocate. You know, we also have the same sky in a box where you can have your own trunk show and tell the story of same sky. But we want more people to be part of our movement. And, and really ask yourself, where did I buy that dress? Do I know who made it? And start asking that of retailers. Start thinking about that. Start becoming more conscious as you consume. They have a talent that they can share, and that, that's the kind of world we want to live in, and that's what we all need to do is share our talent. Much more than money, we need to share our talent with each other, and that would make the world a much better place. If you want to get in touch with her or just know more about Same Sky, here's how you do it. Well, that's all for today. Next week, a new passion and a new climb to the top. Follow us on social media for more behind the scenes and extra insight. I'm Tamara Lane, and this is Views from the Top.